Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. A boating tragedy on the South Australian coast has torn a family apart with three people killed near Port Lincoln. University professor Danny Eckert has lost his father and brother after a wave capsized their fishing boat on Sunday night. The 44-year-old was found with his 13-year-old son clinging to a reef near Spilsby Island in the early hours of yesterday morning. The boat will now be subject to a forensic investigation. US President Joe Biden says eight people remain unaccounted for after the collapse of Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. It's understood many of the missing were road workers fixing potholes on the 47-year-old bridge when a 90,000-tonne cargo ship slammed into a pier. The president says the harbour's closed until debris can be cleared. Everything so far indicates that this was a terrible accident. At this time, we have no other indication, no other reason to believe there's any intentional act here. Personnel on board the ship were able to alert the Maryland Department of Transportation that they had lost control of their vessel, as you all know and reported. As a result, local authorities were able to close the bridge to traffic before the bridge was struck, which undoubtedly saved lives. Julian Assange has won a temporary reprieve in his fight against extradition to the US. The UK High Court has ruled the WikiLeaks founder can't immediately be extradited on espionage charges. The case has been adjourned until the 20th of May. An AFL team doctor turned whistleblower has admitted to off-the-books illicit drug testing. The Melbourne club doctor says the tests were done to evade detection on match days with players testing positive advice to fake an injury so they wouldn't risk suspension for anti doping breaches. Federal Independent MP Andrew Wilkie calling on Anthony Albanese to intervene. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, NRL legend Paul Gallen has scoffed at suggestions from the NRL that defenders have a duty of care when making a tackle. The former Sharks skipper says if the NRL is worried about being sued, there is a solution. Make the players sign some sort of indemnity. I promise you right now there wouldn't be a single player that wouldn't sign an indemnity to say, I understand the risks involved in playing professional rugby league. I will not come back and sue you. And West Coast Eagles defender Jaden Hunt says number one draft pick Harley Reid continues to impress. Hunt says the 18-year-old excelled in the preseason and has continued his form into the first few rounds of the AFL season. In entertainment news, the first pictures of Cara Delvine's mansion, which was ravaged by fire, have emerged. The supermodel's $7 million LA home destroyed in the blaze. And a few LA gym goers have reportedly been left a little mad over an unscheduled break to their workout. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift overtook a West Hollywood gym for a private workout, which left others waiting on the sidewalk for up to two hours. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.